Matariki Park, a fresh destination for hunters who do not compromise on their vacation stays. From dense forests full of unique vegetation to challenging mountain ranges, Matariki Park is beaming with wildlife native to North America, Europe, and Asia. Few places in the world offer the chance to hunt for Himalayan tar, Rocky Mountain elk, sika, sambar, and red deer all at the same time. Let your hunting instincts go wild and enjoy your stay. Taking a swim in a fancy lodge you're staying at for free. Life can be good when you least expect it. And what I expect is weeks of nothing but relaxation and hunting. Hello? Who could that be? River Knox here. I... Uh, you can see? Sorry, who is this? Let me introduce myself. I'm Andy, the owner of the lodge. The security system notified me that you'd arrived, and I had some cameras set up, so I just took a peek. Wait, you are THE Andy? The one and only. I can't believe it. The author of Tiny Stars in a Wolf-Eyed Sky is talking to me? I can't believe your grandfather had the nerve to reveal my real name. Wait, he did tell me that the owner of the lodge is the author, but never mentioned your name. He said you wouldn't be here anyway. Just please, keep this to yourself. You can count on me. As your biggest fan, I'd never do that. You know the saying, never meet your heroes. Technically, we haven't met. Yet. Well, here's the thing, dear biggest fan. Your grandfather contacted my assistant to make an arrangement that involves another guest who should be coming soon. Imagine my surprise. I can imagine. I had no idea somebody else was coming. I... Who is the lucky person? It's supposed to be a mystery until the guest arrives. Your grandfather's wish. Ugh. He really knows how to spice up my vacation. He was worried, by the way. Said he wasn't sure you'd arrived already? I don't have service here, so it's just the walkie-talkie for the next few weeks. Yeah, well, apparently they'll be arriving soon, and you're supposed to throw an impromptu welcome party. <sighs> Can't I throw a party for you instead? Do you remember what I said about meeting your heroes? My assistant left you a note in the kitchen so you can make preparations. Don't want to stress you out, but you better get ready. Call me if you need anything. You don't have to ask me twice. And I almost forgot. Welcome to Matariki Park. The assistant signed it in the name of the owner? Hm. Strange. Thank you. 
I got the meat. Are you asking for a pat on the head? No, I mean, I... I, I imagined you'd be different. You imagined a wise old man. It sounds terrible to admit, but... Yeah, sorta. Your descriptions are always so vivid. Makes me think you've been through a lot. Who says I haven't? I'm not, I'm not saying that, I'm just surprised. Well, that's not the worst feeling, is it? So, why did your grandfather send you to the opposite side of the globe? He probably thought I was overworked and needed a break. And were you? Maybe. But not anymore. I'm, I'm as fresh as ever. Can you keep a secret? You're already keeping mine, so that seems only fair. I want to leave Bear Den Ranch and open a restaurant. That's it? Hey, it's, it's, it's been lying heavy on me for the past two months. Get to work, River. She said my name. Okay, I think this is more than enough. You wanted a pat on the head, and, well, I'm going to admit, you did a good job. What are your thoughts on the hangy? Definitely hard to prepare. Couldn't have done it without you. Without me? Uh, that was probably my assistant's doing. I think they're already here. Ah, what a mess and for nothing. Must have been the wind. <laughs> 